Hey, 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 official Jelly TV here. How are you all? And thank you so much for tuning in. You are gonna love this video today, believe me. As you can tell by the title, it's a fun one. But no, actually, I'm taking this seriously. Now, we had a bit of bad news the other day, or good news, who depends on who you are. We are out of the EU. England are out of the EU, and we are on our own. Britain, once again. Did you vote? I did, but I'm not here to talk about the vote because we've heard enough on telly. But I want to run for Prime Minister. I feel that I can. I've got 240 subscribers. Your guys are behind me. I feel I can run this country. And today I'm going to give you my top 10 laws or things I've put in place to make England a much happier and a much greater place. As you know, we're out of the EU and David Cameron has got his bike and he is jogging on. Soon he'll be out and we are looking for the next Prime Minister. Now, I think I got what it takes, but listen up and please give me your time. First thing, you're going, where's your tie? Well, in my land there's no ties. It will be law that everyone has to wear one of these. I don't even know what they're called. They're lovely, they're great, they're colourful and I think that sets the tone. Now, the first rule, the first law I'd put in, and I really want this, is world peace. I don't know what you're thinking, I'm just a lovely guy. Well, world peace for me is really strong. I'm sick of waking up with my cup of tea in the mornings, turning on the news, and just reading about people unhappy, people blowing up things, shooting, all that kind of rubbish. I just want world peace, and people just to love each other. Now, you know what I mean, like, world peace is something that I believe in, and that should happen now. We're in 2016, come on. The second thing is education. Now, I'm out of education now, finally, and thank God. But remember back when you were at school and they were, like, teaching about algebra and isosceles triangles and Bunsen burners, you know, getting stick and putting it in the Bunsen burner, and hey, before you know it, you're getting a certificate. I'm 21 now, and I can honestly say, since I've been out of education, I have not needed to know algebra. Isosceles triangles, no, no, no. I want to learn about laws, to pay mortgages, to pay bills, how to run a life, you know, how to get a job, uni, college, all them things that are really important. But at the moment, we are learning about isosceles triangles, you know, just really silly things. And it really frustrates me. My brother's at school and he brings home his homework. And it's like, do you know how to do algebra? No, we never use it. You never need it. So I would really sort our education out. Because I strongly believe that it really needs sorting out. The teachers are actually on strike now as we speak. That says something. So that's why I should be Prime Minister. Because I would really, really sort the education out. Next one, and I'm going to take a drink before I say this one, because this might shock you, it might not. Homelessness. Number four, and that really important to me as well, homelessness. I am tired and fed up. It makes me so sad to see so many homeless people on the street. 2016, no one should be out in the cold at night, sitting on a horrible wet floor and having to sleep. Homelessness needs sorting out. I don't know if it's food, if it's water, if it's shelter, but something needs to happen. And also, like me, are you sick of going into shopping centres, car parks, and just smelling piss? Piss goes right up my nose, straight away, and I'm like, oh, you dirty git. But they cannot help it, so I've come up with a solution. I think it should be law. If you're homeless, and this doesn't go for drunk people, you have to be homeless. You are allowed to wee in drains. It should be law for them, so they don't have to go on the street and we don't have to smell it and look at it. It should be law, they are allowed to wee and do their business in drains out of the public eye. For me, that is a definite, but homelessness needs sorting out. And now this next one, number five, it may make you laugh, you may love it, depending on what age you are. But as I said, I am 21 and I am sick of it. These new phrases, these new sayings, I'm just going to go through a few which need to be banned. Number one, which I hate, if someone texts me it, no, 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 I may not even be your friend and I will not be listening to you for a couple of days. So you pick up your phone 
oh, I've got a text, someone must uh, want me. So you read it and it's like, do you want to go to a cheeky Nando's? I get my phone right and I just want to text back. Oh, yeah, I want to text back. But that word cheeky Nando's, there is nothing cheeky about it. It's chicken in sauce with a side. You gotta pay for drinks. If you like me, I get water and then I put a Coke in it. That word cheeky Nando's sends me nuts. And that brings me on to the next one. These nuts. It was a video that someone done online and I'm sick of hearing it. Even when you're talking and you say something funny like, can you go and get him? It's like, got him, these nuts. And I'm like, I'm trying to have a decent conversation. So them two I would ban and another two. Alan Craskell, if you're watching this, I absolutely love you. But I don't know about you guys, but that see you later. I can't help it, right? People leave my house after we've had a good time, or we're out shopping, or doing whatever, right? They get their sunglasses on their head, and you know what they're just about to do. And you're like, see you later, and you're just about to walk away. And they say, no, stop, turn around. I turn around, and I know. It's already like... And they go, see you later. And I'm like, if you do that one more time, I am not going to speak to you ever again. Don't get me wrong, I love Alan Craskell. If you're watching this, let's do a collab. Let's run for Prime Minister together. Actually, I just thought of something. Can you imagine when you're firing someone, you just got Alan Craskell in the background going, see you later. That is funny, but when your friends are doing it, 24-7, it's a no-no. And the last one, which, don't get me wrong, it was funny for like a week, but now it's not funny. That, oh, it's going straight in my basket. One, why do you have to put on a camp voice? And two, look, I'm shopping. I put stuff in basket. That is what you do. Trolley basket, you know, that is what you do. You get your item, you put it in that basket. So your mum or your dad, when they do it, it's more cringe. My brother, I put something in the basket and he's like, that's going straight in my basket. I feel like picking up the item that I want, putting it back on the shelf and going to sit in the car. I cannot stand it. And someone, oh, you've just got to stop saying it. Funny for a week now, it's just driving me insane. So moving on to number six. Now lads, you might like this one. I'm sure I'll get your vote on this one. Every beach should be a nudist beach. I don't care if you're up north, if you're down south. England, every beach must be nudity. I don't know why, well I do know why, but come on, can you imagine? That would just be fantastic. All ages, all sizes, on that beach, looking hot, looking great, and come on, can you imagine? That would just be out of this world. Now this next one, number six. This is important if you actually think about it. When you hit 60, your birthday, you must take your driving test again. I don't drive, but I sit in the passenger seat and I look at old people. I don't even have to know. When I see someone do something stupid on the road, I automatically go, they're old. I look around, they're old their glasses, their hair, just on the steering wheel. You shouldn't be on the road. They cause accidents, they're dangerous. Once you get 60, you get a birthday card and in it gives you, I don't know if it's a token or a reminder, go and take your driving test again. Look, they passed their test, say, 40 years ago when they were 20. A lot's changed in 40 years, believe me. You have to take your driving test again. For my safety and for everyone else's safety. You're 60, get yourself to that driving test centre and do your test, please. Now, number eight. Now, this is that the YouTubers. I know I'm a YouTuber and I'm a successful one with my 240 plus YouTubers, which I'm very grateful for. But I watch YouTubers day in, day out. Please guys, if you're going to write your own book, 
or if you're gonna do a video that's interesting, make it your own. You know, if you're writing a book, write it yourself. That's rule number one. I don't even have to say it. But come on, write your own book and you're selling it to your fans. You're sitting on that paper and you're just living life. And also, collabs. If you're sat there with 10 subscribers or 100 and you're doing a collaboration with someone with, I don't know, 100,000, come on, overnight you're going to be a success. But is your YouTube actually great? Probably not because you're using them things. Actually, P.S. on a side note, Zoella, if you're watching, you know, just um, call me and uh, we'll sort some accounts. But um, that's me, I'll be Prime Minister, I'll allow to be calling YouTubers uh, to my office. But YouTubers, get your ton content right and, you know, come on, you know, stuff has got to happen. Now, number nine, now this will be a great one for the Aussies. If they're watching, good day, shrimp on the barbie. Number nine, I think Britain needs to be more Australian. Now I say that, you see Australia, they choose who they go in. You've got to have, you know, an, a good job or you've got to have a good trade or you can offer our country something. You know, you don't have to be Australian, but you've got to be, you know, good at what you're doing to come in this country. Also, I want to see barbecues everywhere and people are having a good time. Shrimp on the barbie is the nicest thing and we need to bring more of that into Britain. So I really think me being Prime Minister, we will be more Australian. I think I've got, I think I'm 5% Australian, so I count. We need to rub that more off on these Britain, on Britain and we need to be more Australian. That is so important. I don't know about you or do you agree, but come on, think about it. Shrimp on the barbie, good cricket team, what more do you want? This last one, number 10, the most important, I save it for last. Deep breaths this one. It's important. Everyone must subscribe to Official Daily TV down below. Make sure you do it. Subscribe to me because I'll make people happy, laugh, a great community and we work together and that's what it's all about. So they must subscribe to Official Daily TV. Please do it now, it would mean so much. Wow, that was absolutely amazing. So that was my top 10 laws and things I'd put in place if I ran this country. I really want to be Prime Minister and let's make it happen. David Cameron, he got his bike and he jogged on. He should be out soon. So we are really looking for the next Prime Minister. I think I got what it takes. I don't know about you, but please let me know. Leave your comments in the comment box below. And also, if you like this video, it was a bit of fun. Don't take it too seriously, and don't worry, I probably won't be the next Prime Minister. So don't be shocked if you don't see me on the telly or in the papers. And don't be too upset. But if you did like this video, it was a bit of fun. Please leave a like to let me know you liked it, and it would really, really mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching this one. I have really, really enjoyed it and it's been a hoot. I'm off to the pub now to share my laws and share my tricks. And I think they are going to love it down the pub. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see each other very, very soon. YouTube gang, take care. <laughs> Me as Prime Minister. I must be having a laugh. No, seriously, you must be having a laugh.